I might have messed up my audio for like most of that. Ooh. So I had, so someone, I had someone say, say that, that they like they parsley, parsley and rice, but, but thought to match sky, sky and sleepy, sleepy as well as to their to sort, of sort of herb theme. theme. So, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go with, with mint, mint and, basil. and basil. And I think, I think if, if there's, there's any more cats in this lineage, lineage, it'd be really, really fun to keep their, their sort of sort herb of theme going on. But, but Holly, Camellia, Holly, Camellia and, and Venom, Venom are all of our best friends, friends. Although, we although we kind of don't, don't like Venom. Like Venom. I, just I just realized that my little VTuber was blocked for like the beginning few minutes of that, so oops. Fixed it now though, so it's okay. Alona brings, brings her kit named Dart to the clan, stating, stating they no longer can care for them. them. Oh, right, Kit, you're adorable. Where's Dart? Where's Dart? Oh, Dart's, oh, Dart's adorable, adorable, too. What the heck? The heck? Oh, there's oh, such there's cute, cute names, names in here. here. What? what? Nightingale. Nightingale. Okay, okay. Sure. sure. Let's go with that. Check off Wonder past an old badger set overlooking a crook in the little river. Only to freeze. There's new scent here, acrid and sour. The cats try to find enough bits of grass to block the opening to the set, but it won't clump together and hold its shape. Before they knew it, they're tired, thirsty, and forced to return home with nothing to show for it. Put three random together. And I'll put them on border. In the middle of re remarking the border, Allium Star finds a distinct scent trail that has crossed it. Proceed. The patrol immediately stops their border markings and switches to track of the scent of the intruder instead. At the end of the trail, they find a poor old kitty pet. Wheezing their two legs name. Allium Star doesn't know where her two leg is, but offers to bring the stranger back to camp. Where Medicine Cat can kind of help them. Allium Star, you usually aren't super nice. What's gotten into you? Slumber Ripple? Oh. You've got like. Frostbite? Is that what that one is? Hold on. Da -da -da -da. Karen Place Disease. What is that? Is that a life gen thing? Not sure how I feel about Ripple. Slumber Dew, Slumber Rain, Slumber Fur, Slumber Wish. That's cute. Yeah, I'll keep Slumber. Slumber Wish. There we go. We have a lot of cats recently. Oh, we probably need that on. I kind of want to talk to somebody, but I don't know who. Let's talk to all the new kits, actually. We watch as Rykit chases her tail while the other kits laugh hysterically. Featherbrook, hi. Can you teach me to do a hunting pounce, pretty please? So I just focus on those feathers over there. Mmm, rawr! I got it, I got it! Thank you so much! When I become an apprentice, I'm gonna make sure the whole clan has plenty of food. I'm gonna give you my very first catch, okay? Kids are so cute, I love them. I love when they're newborns and they just look like little potatoes. Wowie! When I grow up, I cannot wait to be as big as you. Look at your long claws and your teeth. I hope my fangs will be that sharp someday. Feather Rook, I'm so sleepy. I'm st it's still early. I said I was going to play with somebody at Sunheim, but that's so far away. If I go to sleep now, I won't be able to play with them. Oh, Featherbrook, what do I do? You promised Mint Kit you'll wake them up just in time to play with their friend. You will? Featherbrook, thank you, thank you. This is why we're the bestest of friends. Mint Kit dramatically falls into their nest in the nursery. They're out as soon as they hit the moss. As promised. Slowly nudge Mint Kit awake at Sunheim and remind them of their playdate. They jump up happily and return to their friend with wonder and joy in their eyes, though not without tripping over their own paws. <laughs> Excited little guy. And the last kit, Nightingale Kit. Hey Featherbrook, wanna play? Yes, Nightingale Kit, if they plan on cheating, pulling your tail, or otherwise abusing you this time. Hmm. Hmm, you're no fun anyways. Featherbrook almost got lost in your two leg nest. What are you doing out there, man? Put Rose Fern, Frostfoot together. Medicine Cat's patrol pads out into Mushroom Clan territory. Rose Fern tells Frostfoot about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean for Mushroom Clan. Frostfoot shakes her head sadly. They cannot make sense of the vision. Dang, Frostfoot is having some issues there. Wisteria Peak. As the poppy starts to bloom and set seed in a new leaf, Wisteria Peak jumps at the opportunity. These plants will be dead in leaf fall. Well, the clan won't stop needing painkillers in the colder seasons, so there's no time to waste. Wisteria Pete goes out and brings back a decent harvest. Okay, and then we have our life gem patrol. Catch us of a mouse nearby. You missed the mouse. Do we have... These mediators? Yeah, okay. I feel like we really need, like, a queen to watch over these guys. 
I don't know who I'd want to put as the queen, though. Maybe Holly? Confident. Guardian. Thoughtful. Shameless. Humble. Rose Fern is loving. That's a good sign. So, let's put you to be a queen. See, somebody's looking over the freaking... All these children. Play Moss Ball with Rykit. Rose Fern and Rykit play Moss Ball. Rykit accidentally sends the ball flying towards another cat, hitting them in the side. Rykit doesn't apologize at all as they retrieve the ball. Compassion minus one. Am I able to do more than one, or is it just one a day? Okay, just one a day. I forget how pretty this camp is. I don't know who drew it, but they did a great job. Cute. I didn't know there was like a little... <gasps> Whoa! What is this? What should the warriors focus on? Helping other clans, maybe? Mediator and warriors work together. Oh, it can I can read everything. Okay. No specific focus. Won't get any bonuses. This clan will focus on hunting. Each working warrior, including deputy and leader, with each working apprentice, will gather additional prey on each moon skip. This clan will focus on herb gathering. Each medicine cat and medicine cat apprentice will gather extra herbs each moon skip. Relationship with cats outside the clan decreased due to internally, intentionally threatening behavior from your warriors. Increases as your warriors efforts to show seeds of friendship. The clan will take more care and time to their task, and therefore the rate of injuries, illness, and outbreaks will be reduced. Your mediator and warriors work together to undermine other clans, only available if you have a working mediator. Technicians will also allow you to choose which clans your target. Oh, we can so that's crazy. Okay. Media and warriors work together to help the other clans with whatever they need. Only available if you have a working mediator. Okay. Warriors begin crossing borders for resources. Prey and herbs will greatly increase each moon skip, but injuries and illnesses will increase and your relationship with other clans decrease. You'll be able to choose which clans you target. Warriors begin stockpiling as so many resources they can't get their paws on, regardless of their own safety. Prey and herbs will increase. Injuries and illness will increase. Okay, hold on. All these sound really cool. This guy's bloodthirsty. And that makes me think he's gonna do something that's not super great for everyone. I feel like he would want to take care of his own clan more than others, you know? Okay, so here's all of our bordering clans. We got Clear Clan, Flight Clan, Slate Clan, World Clan. I don't know. I I'm gonna go for Slate. I don't have a reason for it, it just felt right. That is so cool. There's nothing I can do in here, is there? No. Okay. Time to skip one moon. <gasps> I'm big! Nutty Go Paul strides up to their new mentor, looking very proud and excited to be apprentice to Allium Star. Slumberwish has been looking forward to the moon's arrest as an elder. They happily retire, quickly settling into the elder's den. Oh, poor Slumber. They're not feeling good. 145 moons! Oh my god, that's an old cat. Mushroom Clan does not have enough prey. We'll make sure to deal with that. The objects the two legs bring smell so enticing, but the cats of Mushroom Clan avoid them as much as possible. It only occurs to them that the prey they so rely on their food might not do the same for when the cats start getting sick. Venom Chill is chatting with Ambrosa Elk. You listen as you eat your evening meal. Seems like Ambrosa Elk has annoyed Venom Chill. Go over to teach Wisteria peaks and battle moves just in case. Trooper notice is you're a little down. You spend a bit of time talking through things with you. By the end, a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. You spend some time with Hollybark today. The two of you enjoy time away from camp. Yeah, there's the... Heather Pelt and Juniper Moore. Wait, those are my parents. Hold on. I have siblings. Hold on. Clover and Dazzle? Those are the cutest names. I'm keeping those. Immediately keeping those. Pin and Chill is complaining that Featherbrook never does anything useful. Featherbrook wishes they could get their pelt to shine like rose ferns. Crossfur is admiring Hollybark from afar. I thought this was my events. Yeah, it is. Why am I- okay. Maybe I messed it up. Here's this, okay. Okay, these are the only two Featherbrook ones, and okay. I know I probably can't do anything whenever I try to talk to them, but I want to talk to any words. Never did you think a kitten could say meow so bluntly, but here you are. Meow. Dazzle Kid is buried under a pile of their sibling. Okay, so we do need to go out and get some prey. Let's put you two together because we need to get some uh, experience for Nightingale. Patrol looks around for something to disguise their scent while hunting. 
The patrol finds no prey. Seems like all their prey was scared off because of their stench. Oh, pfft. Okay. Nightingale, you stink. Literally. I'll put Amberosa and Feather together to go hunting, I think. As the patrol is checking border lines, they hear an odd sound coming from the long grass nearby. Featherbrook drops down into a hunting crouch, certain that the mouse must be the source of the noise. They find themselves to be correct when they pounce on the grass and return to their patrol with a tasty morsel dangling from their jaw. Medium amount of prey. Okay, we have enough prey now. See training. Put Sinesis and Holly. Um, yeah, sure. Holly Bark wanders past an old badger set overlooking a crook in the little river. Only to freeze, there's, new there's noosing here, acred and sour. Calling the rest of the patrol over, the cats discuss their next move. If a badger has moved in, they need to confirm it, but how? Hollybark comes up with a plan, stuffing grasses and shrubs into the mouth of the set. The cats will be able to come back tomorrow to see if anything has shoved them out of the way. I want to put Frost and Venom together, because I think they're... I'm pretty sure they're siblings. Frostfoot pads through Mushroom Clan territory with their entourage. They feel a presence join them. I think they would not antagonize. Frostfoot softly alerts the rest of the patrol of their visitor. With respectful nods, the patrol pauses, tucks their paws together neatly, and sits to converse with the Star Clan cat. And the last two together, they'll be Shekov and Wisteria. As Menacing Cat's patrol pads out to Amber or er, Mushroom Clan territory, Shekov tells Wisteria Peak about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean for Mushroom Clan. If an in-depth conversation about Shekov's vision as they walk, by the time they head back to camp, they have a good idea of what they should do with the information. Uh, last is our life gen patrol. Oh, we can start going on dates now. Okay, cool. Catch the scent of a mouse. Locate the mouse and begin to stalk. The mouse nibbles on a seed, unaware of the hunting cat. You waggle your haunches and leap, pinning the mouse behind a paw as you make the killing bite. I want to talk to the nightingale paw now that they've been promoted. Oh, Featherbrook. I noticed you seemed a bit tired. Do you want some of my fresh kill? Might help. Aw, you're no longer as bossy as you used to be. How's Slumber doing now that they're retired? Slumberwish seems to be drifting in and out of consciousness. Oh, Sleepy and sick. Rose Fern. Play with Mint Kit. Let's do Play Fight. Mint Kit keeps attacking even after Rose Fern surrenders, and Rose Fern scolds Mint Kit for being hard enough to make them bleed. Mint Kit just shrugs, saying it was an accident. Shouldn't be a big deal. Empathy minus one. I have never had a positive effect from this. I think it's just my luck. So we can't talk with the dead, can we? Unless we have, like, specific traits. We're just a humble, strong fighter, apparently. I'm sure wishes they could get their pelt to shine like bright kids. Uh, Olivent. There's something wrong with the prey in the forest. No matter how hard the warriors try and catch healthy prey, the fresh kill still causes belly aches or worse. And anything that smells even a little wrong is taken away and buried far, far away from hungry mouths. Lightning is striking the side. You watch it with Heather Pelt, Shekov, Sinesis Dawn, and Wisteria Peak. Take a moment to stretch out in warm patch of sunlight, enjoying a brief respite from your order duties. You look to the stars one evening and ponder, is Star Clan really watching? Oh, that's something we need to go look at, is who believes in what, since that's a thing. Venom Chill wishes they could get their pelt to shine like Bry Kits. Let's switch to just us real quick. Sinis Stone saw Featherbrook the other day and did get a chance to meow hello. Featherbrook helps Slumberwish pick burrs out of their fur. So let's see, uh, Faith. Alium has no faith, Camellia has a uh, little faith of Star Clan, Mysterio Peak likes Star Clan, Frostfoot a little bit, Heather Pell, Juniper Moore likes it, Shrekoff likes Star Clan. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Sinesis Dawn. Just not. They, they're kind of wondering if the Dark Forest is really as bad as it says. I think we're getting to the end, so it looks like only Sinesis has anything to say about the Dark Forest. Weird. So who can we take on a date? Apparently Allium Star. That's a little weird. Frostfoot. Polybark, you're also old. Uh, Venom Chill. And Sinesis. I'm curious how Venom Chill. Oh, that's not what I meant. How Venom Chill and Feather would go? You're told about the blue Superman and decided it would be a good opportunity to ask Venom Chill out. Pat up to them, but hesitant. What if this doesn't go as planned? They politely decline, saying that you. saying that they have to go on a night patrol. And you weren't selected with them. Seems like tonight you two will be watching the moon from different parts of the territory. Or it'll only be Venom Child watching. Well, I guess they don't like each other then. I'm gonna put Allium and Holly together. 
We have enough prey. Do training. Trailing behind Allium Star, ground trembles beneath Haldibark's paws. They look around wildly for safe footing just as the earth caves in beneath them and the world goes dark. Allium Star comes running for their yells, and Haldibark is soon freed, shaken but unharmed. The cats settle down as they comfort each other. Uh, I think I'll take Nightingale out on training. The patrol wants to hold a training session for Nightingale Paw. They decide to focus on the best on how best to hide with the tall grass. Nightingale Paul listens carefully as Featherbook explains how to move through the, gla the grass unseen and undetected. Um, Sinise is done, Wisteria Peak, you can go together. Near a patrol looking for herbs, Wisteria Peak notices Sinise is done, seems a bit more quiet than usual. When prompted, Sinise is done slowly asks if Wisteria Peak could teach them more about the nature of Star Clan. Wisteria Peak had seen before how connected Sinise's Dawn was to Star Clan and begins telling them more that they would have told any other clan about their ancestors. Wisteria Peak and Sinise's Dawn spend much of their patrol gathering arms discussing the hard hitting questions. Yeah, Sinise's was the one who wasn't really a fan of Star Clan, so. Sinise's Dawn was to Star Clan. Huh. Interesting. Russell uses the blustery new leaf morning to try and catch the scent of wild garlic in the breeze. Surprised they might, Frostfoot can't gather can't quite remember the exact shape of garlic leaves. They aren't going to harvest from plants they haven't confidently identified. Better safe than sorry, as they say. So I think that leaves us with our life gen patrol. Miller asks you to share a story of your most daring adventure. It's an opportunity to share your experiences and inspire younger cats. You captivate the clan with your tale, filling their story, filling their eyes with wonder. They appreciate your storytelling, and the kids beg for more stories in the future. Have we already done? So we can give them a story from... Rose for now. Uh, Clover or Dazzle? Let's do Dazzle. Tell Dazzle a story. Rose Fern tells a story about an apprentice who faces their fears and saves their friend from danger. Dazzle Kip seems a bit more bold when they leave the den with their tail raised high. Cute. Okay. Surprised nothing bad has happened with other clans yet. Oh, here we go. Multiple cats got injured while raiding other clans to get additional prey. Venom Chill and Amber Sail. Of course both of those two are the ones who got injured, huh? Those friends running nose is gone. Slumberwish has recovered from Karen Place disease. With the additional focus of the clan, 18 pieces of prey and 8 herbs were gathered. So Venom Chill, I guess you just walked it off. Small cut. Amberosa Elk. Got a cat bite. Oops. I'm gonna talk to Amber Elk, see how they're doing. Tch. Seems like practically every cat I talk to these days is all about patrols and busy work. Doesn't anyone have anything more interesting to say? We already waste, like, over half our lives doing mindless chores. Do we have to talk about it in our free time, too? Why don't we dedicate our precious time to discussing something more meaningful? Like, for example, how about you Venom Chill's fur is looking lately? <laughs> Dang, okay. Oh, you're a dude. I totally voiced you like a woman. My bad, Amberosa. Uh, I did not mean to hit flirt. Pfft. Um, no. I meant to talk to you. Grimchill seems... Seemingly shrinks into their own pellet as soon as you approach. Other brook, hello. Seem mildly uncomfortable. The whole conversation. And as soon as it's done, they shoot across camp to Hollybark, who gives you a death glare. What's all that about? Venom does not like us all of a sudden. What happened with that cat? Eliam, do you know what's wrong? Venom Star glowers off into the distance, seemingly deep in thought. Clearly, they don't want to have a chat right now. You decide to leave it alone. Okay, let's try talking to their brother. Their sibling. Hmm. You worried about something Venom Chill said to you earlier? Oh, hello? Okay, the game's gotten smarter than I thought it did. <laughs> ah, relax. I know my sibling better than anyone. I'm sure they didn't mean it that way. But if it's really worrying you, I can ask them about it later. And you can be certain it's the truth, too. Venom Chill couldn't lie to me, even if they tried. Well, I guess Frostfoot's on our side, at least. It was Holly that they ran over to, right? The other day, by the two-leg place, I saw a two-leg burning their prey. They straight up tossed it into a fire. Horrible, right? I'll never understand them. Well, I'll time skip one last moon and see kind of what these say, but other than that, I'm gonna leave it soon. Our skill tastes a little bit better, a little brighter, like it's cleaner. While the clan might get a little thinner than they used to be, it seems as if we can eat anything they catch again. Oh my god. Featherbrook wails when they see the body of Venom Chill. 
still and cold in the clearing. They sit vigil that night as grief fills their heart. As the days pass, Featherbrook becomes angry and withdrawn. Feels like the entire clan is just moving on from Venom, Venom Chill's death, which they refuse to do. You look to the stars one evening and ponder, is Star Clan really watching? Juniper and Moore notices you're a little down. They spend quite a bit of time talking with talking through some things with you. By the end, a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Venom Chill was <laughs> The irony. Venom Chill was bitten by a snake and succumbed to the venom. As the clan sits vigil, Rose Friend's voice cracks with grief, talking about the time they had with Venom Chill. With a venomous tongue burning and fuming hatred, Rose curse Rose Fern curses at Star Clan again and again. The very thought of dead souls makes him grit their teeth enough to shatter them. Why must Star Clan take everything and everyone they loved? And now Venom Chill is along those trapped. For now and forever, Star Clan is an enemy in Rose Fern's eyes. Okay, I really want to see this. Is your Okay, sure. You didn't commit to that very hard then, didn't ya? Juniper Moore looks at the cat sitting vigil for Venom Chill, wonders how any of them will cope without Venom Chill in their lives. Juniper Moore can't help. Their bitterness and rage as Venom Chill's life is recalled at the vigil. They coldly turn away anyone who offers comfort. Without Venom Chill, what's the point? The past moon, Venom Chill has taken their place in Star Clan. Mushroom Clan mourns their loss and their clanmates will miss the spot they took up in their lives. Moments of their life are shared in stories around the circle of mourners and those that were close to them, their final resting place. Cheese. Well, that's not something I expected. Camilla Dapple checks on Featherbrook. Rosefern had a huge argument with Featherbrook. They're probably both just very beat up from Feather... or er, from Venom Chill passing. Venom Chill's small cut is no longer bothering them. Oh, I wonder why. I wonder why. Camilla Dapple has recovered from their mingled tail. Her shock is gone. Parsley gets stuck at a camp and returned a bit bruised, but beaming with pride, despite the scowling they were given. Parsley could pick some flowers around the camp to bring back to the mess and doom. The additional focus of the clan, nine pieces of prey, and eight herbs were gathered. I think this is a great place to stop. Ooh, okay. 